Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Doing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Well, let's just keep wandering for a while. And form real cross-media commerce. Ah, Shazam. Hello, Shazam. Name this too. I know that uh, a bunch of the CMS competition is here as well. Some proprietary stuff. This is a great way to have a presentation without bothering everyone. Headphone setup. I guess she's passing out the headphones. Mmm. And this trade show is pretty great for free snacks. I spot juice and croissants here. Ah, oh. oh, here we have eBay. So in this hall, we can see a ton of stands that like to go really high and make sort of um, tall, imposing structures. And somehow, if you look at our friendly lounge style stand, it certainly, I don't know, it has a more relaxed feel to it anyway. Big Bang ads, we buy traffic. We sell leads. Well, we're at a marketing and advertising conference, so I guess this is the sort of stuff we can expect. eBay advertising. Edition technologies. App factory. Premium programmatic advertising. They're cooking something. They're cooking something delicious. Mm. Real-time marketing addresses. Now, we should slow down for a second here, and I have to say that all this stuff that I'm walking past, more than half of it, I couldn't honestly tell you what they actually do. Luckily, mostly my job here is to explain to people what we do, so, uh, you know, that helps. Okay, this is the frozen yogurt line. I think I cannot resist getting some of that. So this thing is just one stand, I think. This. Oracle Marketing Cloud. Hello, proprietary competition. Oh, now search metrics I've heard of, and I even know more or less what search metrics does. And I know that search metrics has a Drupal integration that was made by ICOS, which is now Invica. Search Metrics is an SEO analytics tool, um, and among other things that it does, Search Metrics, um, you can write articles and it'll tell you based on your keyword, target audience, those sort of things, um, how well you're doing and how well it thinks it'll perform in the way that the search results are at the moment. So um, it's pretty helpful for people who want you know, to get eyes on their content, and there is a Drupal integration, so we like that. Sky Media, that's a brand I recognize. Discovery Networks Deutschland. <laughs> One thing that I didn't realize about this is that it's actually a proper conference as well, and so I've been involved in this exhibitors area for a couple of years, and um, that takes up all of one's time very easily, but um, there's actually a whole area full of seminars and panel discussions and people talking about how to do this stuff and how to do it better, um, just like a real conference. I, uh, I'm a little bit torn. I really enjoy uh, what we're doing and uh, how we're you know, promoting what we do and, and, and Drupal along the way. Um, I would actually be really, really interested to come and come and see sessions and, and, and be part of this too. Oh well, maybe we'll figure that out. So up ahead you can see the sign for Expo Hall 8. That's where Aqua is standing, that's where we've been walking around so far. So I just walked into Hall 7 and I discovered that 
compared to Hall 8, uh, this is maybe even bigger stands, and to some degree, bigger companies. Uh, interestingly, well, we have a gigantic Google presence here, and we have a gigantic Adobe presence. We have Digitas LBI. So, somehow, I guess these stands are maybe the same size. Some of them seem to be even uh, more monumental in their design. Um, here we have a 360 degree video screen and all that kind of stuff. I have to say, um, I said something about it already at some point, but I really, I really do think that a stand like this, which is designed to have some conversations and some meetings as a it's a very good idea, and I think that Aquius gets that right. And then there are some others that seem really impersonal or really imposing, or the ones where they have big walls around them and secret meeting rooms. That's, I don't know. I don't think I would want to do that. So I'm happy that, uh, that I'm at a friendly stand, um, and it seems to be working. We've had a lot of great conversations with people about Drupal. Oh, hey, so there's Salesforce. Here's Vice Media. This is a cool hall. These are definitely some big players. App Nexus, Sitecore, oh, AOL. Now, kids, AOL used to be the internet. And I wonder what AOL does nowadays. Yandex, Spotify. Aha, uh -huh, Spotify is somebody we know. Hooray, Spotify. Um, Sitecore. That is very clearly Twitter. Okay, these are bigger booths than Hall 8 even. The empire that 140 characters built. Jiro Pay, I've heard of. Rabbit e-marketing I've actually heard of as well, and I'm not sure why. This is fun. Meeting tents. Meeting tents are a good idea. Rocket fuel, marketing that learn. And here we have. Lioness. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. 3D for shops. Augmented reality. That's fun. Rubicon Project. Don't know what that is. Yahoo. Speaking of old concepts. Smarto. Ooh, yala. OMP. Ah, oh, here's Facebook. Facelift Clown. Esum. Ensu Egus Network. All these companies I don't know what they do. Outbrain. Turn your brand stories into brand results. Good concept. Friendly stack. Microsoft. Bing! And quiz and trade doubler. <sighs> I guess there is an awful lot of internet out there, right? Agency lounge. You can recognize Havas Village. Havas is a giant conglomeration of advertising agencies. Them I recognize. Predictive mobile marketing platform. Publicis, that's another agency group. This is a nice stand. And it looks like real grass, even. Sweet. No idea what they do for business, but uh, that's okay. Hall 6. Hall 6. These look like slightly smaller stands, smaller than Hall 7 for sure. Data-driven video content marketing, brands, shops, intelligence. Let's find the buzzwords this year. Email, social media, marketing automation. Email, social marketing. even know what programmable 
ROI focused DSP means. My loss in true. Tag Commander. Here's some of the actual conference action, it looks like. Up where he comes, the man. Right there, it's right there. Good. That's e commerce. I think it's even open source. E commerce, if I'm not mistaken. This is the stand for the state I live in in Germany, not behind the sky. Oh, Opera's here. The people who make the browser, among other things. Apparently, they have a mobile marketing and advertising platform. Like a couple other people here. Optimizely. We increase your conversion rate. Guarantee. Email marketing. Lead gen. Engagement. We buy dating traffic. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound sketchy at all to me. Competitive intelligence. Programmatic journey. Perfect data for any sales channel. The future of targeting. Reinventing payment. The leader in customer identity management. Keyless retargeting. Retargeting and prospecting. Reveal the secrets of your competitor's success. Doctors don't want you to know this one marketing secret. Here's a fun stand. Mobile growth hackers. This looks like the outdoor smoking area. And here we are entering Hall 9. Hall 9. Hall 9. Let's play some more buzzword bingo in Hall 9. Instant video ad. Monetize. Advertise. Digital ad intelligence. No. Search ranking solution. Hall 9 has a little, is a little, uh, thin on the ground as far as, uh, buzzwords go. Ah, there we go. Competitive advantage through advertising intelligence. Lots of virtual reality stuff here this year. I guess mobile advertising would just count as a buzzword at this point. Ah, driving cross-channel convergence. Video monetization. I've seen a few hundred of those, at least. Looks like it. Personal, personally interact with every mobile user. That sounds exhausting to me. Social relationship management software. Get 10,000 leads for free. Premium lead generation. Dynamic customer focus. The Omni Channel Experience. Here we are back in Hall where Aquila's stand is. it going on a scale it hurts so 
here's somebody getting personalized live. It's pretty beautiful though. 